Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on forming an equation using sampling without replacement. Let's read the question. Rita has n marbles of which seven are green. The remainder of the marbles are red. Rita takes a marble, does not replace it and takes another. The probability that she takes two green marbles is seven twelfths. Show that n squared plus a n plus b equals zero where a and b are constants to be found. Now let's first think about what the question is actually asking us to do. The question wants us to form some equation using the information provided. And then subsequently you could solve that quadratic equation that we're going to get to work out what n is. But this question is specifically asking you to use the information to get this particular equation. The second thing to know is that although we have an algebraic number of marbles, we don't know what n is, we can still use exactly the same principle to multiply probabilities together. Now let's think about the sequence of outcomes here. The probability that she takes two green marbles. So we've got a green marble and a green marble. So the first marble is green and the second marble is green. What would be the probability of getting a green marble followed by another green marble? Well, let's think. What's the probability that the first marble is green? Well, it's seven green marbles out of n marbles in total. So we'd have seven out of n. Just because there's n marbles in total, that doesn't change how we find that probability. Then what's the probability that the second marble is green? Well, we've got one green marble in our hand, so there's one less green marble. And similarly, there's one less marble to choose out of. If there were n marbles that we were picking out of, but we've got one less marble now because we've got one marble in our hand, we have one less marble in total, so it'll be out of n minus 1. And then what do we usually do if we want to find the probability of the first thing and the second thing? So the probability of the first marble is green and the second marble is green. Well, when we use the word and, we times these probabilities together. Now, we're told that this probability is 7 twelfths. And now we've managed to use the information provided to generate an equation. And all we need to do now is to simplify this equation so that we get something in this nice form n squared plus something n plus something equals zero. Now we've got algebraic fractions here being multiplied together. So let's combine them into one fraction first. Seven times six is 42. And if we multiply the denominators, n times n minus one is n squared minus n. You could write it as n brackets n minus 1 first and then expand later, and that's equal to 7 twelfths. Now we've got fractions here. We don't want fractions. Now remember an algebraic technique we can use. If we have a fraction equal to a fraction, we can use a technique called cross multiplication. So we can say that this term times this term is equal to this term times this term. So we get this kind of cross. So 42 times 12 and if I do that, 42 times 12 is 504, is equal to 7 times n squared minus n, which is 7n squared minus 7n. And then we can put it all on one side. We want the n squared term to be first, so let's put it all on the right-hand side. We'll just subtract the 504, so 7n squared minus 7n minus 504, and that will now be 0 because we subtracted 504. And then we're almost there. We've got a number in front of n squared, but we don't here. Now, fortunately, everything here divides by 7. So if we divide both sides of this equation by 7, that becomes n squared. That becomes minus n. And then 504 divided by 7 is 72. It's minus 72 equals 0. And so we're done. We've managed to get an equation in this form. The a here turns out to be minus 1 because it's minus 1n. And the b is minus 72. Now, what we could do at this point, even though the question doesn't ask for it, is to work out how many marbles there are in total. And we can do that by solving this quadratic. So remember, we find two numbers that add to give minus 1, multiply to give minus 72. What are those two numbers? Well, they're 8 and minus 9. So it's n plus 8, n minus 9 equals 0. And that means that n is either minus 8 or n is 9. But clearly, we can't have minus 8 marbles, can we? We can't have a negative number of marbles. So the solution is that n is 9. There are 9 marbles in total.